Poor Krishan, poor Krishan. Man, this ain't what that baby was going to do, huh? You thought that baby was going to make you and Blueface be back together? You thought that you was going to have a family and everything that you didn't get when you were growing up or that you didn't get to see. And now reality is biting you in your ass and it's not what you thought it was. Right now, I feel like Krishan is going through postpartum depression. She's going through grief, like grieving the family that she didn't get in Blueface that she was hoping to get in Blueface. And she's dealing with the reality that this is my life now. I'm a mother. I have all these people on me that I quote unquote got to take care of. It seems like she's built her own family with her friends and whatnot but they also seem like broken motherfuckers too so we're gonna talk about that today What's up, my friends, and welcome back once again to the Just Case and Brand. I'm your homegirl. I'm your tia. I'm your prima. Just make sure you have liked the video. Make sure you comment on the video at the end and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So first things first, we're going to talk about this whole keloid thing going on with Blueface, Jaden, and Krishan. Uh, yeah, let's see what he got to say about this shit. Get off the sea walkers, cap. <sighs> Okay, 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 we're gonna have to stop right here. Do you remember that scene in Martin when Cole, well, actually that whole episode where Cole had to go and stay with Martin because he decided to stand up to his mama. So he had to stay with Martin and Gina and he was sleeping on the couch, right? And he was clipping his toenails and he was just sitting like this, picking shit out of his toes. It looked like this nigga, ugh, it, it just was some trifling shit. This motherfucker goes to clip his toenail and it hits Gina in the head. Y'all remember that? This is exactly what I was thinking about when I saw this nigga sit up here and dig between his toes like that on live. You nasty nigga. See, now I don't even believe it's keloid. Now I believe that you just been eating. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you've been eating, but it ain't been right. I know you just breathing like that to piss me off. And you know what? It's working. So, ugh. By the way, this is a keloid, bitch. We have never seen this keloid on your face. We have never seen this keloid on your face. I have no idea what this is. I have keloids on my face and it's from me getting into a car wreck. I cut my face open on a windshield and had to get metal stitches put into my goddamn head, into my eye, into my nose, and into my ear. That resulted into a keloid scar. I don't know. I mean, and that took some time. Like, like that took some time for me to develop a keloid scar. You feel me? So I don't know what the fuck this is on blue face mouth. Cause it don't, I don't know. It doesn't look like a keloid to me. And for his mama to say that Krishan was giving them all keloids. I'm like, Carlissa, do you know what a keloid is? See that shit? Stop making up fucking lies. Crit. All right, so after I seen this, my homeboy had tagged me in this on Facebook, and I was like, okay, see, th this is this what we need to talk about. Either everybody is getting into fights and everybody is getting headbutt in the exact same space, or Blueface is punching both of them in the exact same space, and they retaliate by punching him in the exact same space, or y'all all got a little sprinkle of the Herpa group. Just a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of the hurt McGurk because, you know, y'all been fucking with each other. Y'all been interluding and interlooping. OK, y'all been mud sliding down the mud slide between each other. All right. Y'all been mixing the juices. OK, uh, mixing, mixing the pot that shall not be mixed. But y'all decide to do the shit anyway. All right. I know that when Jaden and Krishan was in the car together, they didn't have no little shot glasses. They was drinking straight off the bottle from each other. Doesn't matter because they both putting their mouth on the same thing when it comes to blue face. So it probably didn't matter. I just don't want y'all to be out here acting like it's a keloid because a keloid is not defined as something like this that y'all all got in the exact same space. Unless one of my theories are true that y'all been punching and headbutting each other in the exact same space. That, uh, this ain't no damn keloid. This is a little bit more and it's okay. You know, it's okay. Y'all all messing with each other. So, um, we, the people ain't surprised by this. What does it say? It is the formation of a type of scar, which depending on its maturity is composed mainly of type three, blah, 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 blah. So it has maturity in this scar. So you mean to tell me these just popped up? These keloids just popped up? No, no, but ain't. 
ain't our business. <laughs> okay, it's not our business. Even though y'all be putting this shit online, it is not our business. All we do is sit up here and try and speculate what's happening, okay? Now, online, they're also talking about Blueface and Krishan possibly being together in Vegas, like together, together. Not just together for no show, but together as in me and you shall never part type of bullshit, right? And I believe that to be true, and I'm gonna tell you why I believe it to be true. Look at this. My mother at, where the fuck is my father at? Like, it's no Christmas for real, y'all. It's crazy. Like, every year I see people post the same status on Facebook. Holidays ain't the same. Christmas ain't the same. These people ain't doing this no more. These people ain't doing that no more. I don't have no family no more. I don't have no this no more. This is exactly what she's going through right now. You really just want me with your people and your mother and shit. Like, that's what makes me feel like the world is real. Like, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Make sure that you create real relationships offline so that you're not turning to online in an online audience for all of your relational needs. Like family, like, but the real family, not the family that's proud. Like, what did you do Christmas. for Christmas? Bitch, I was with you. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about it for me, bitch. Oh, um, right. I used to just be with wherever my dad was. This is when it started to feel sad to me. Like it really just started to feel sad because you guys are friends. You would think, and I'm thinking from my friends, so shout out to Angel, shout out to Jackie. We've been down since, shit, I don't even know, decades now. I know how they spent their holidays. I know how they spent their Christmases. I know how they spent their Thanksgivings, their birthdays, uh, St. Patrick's Day. I know how they spent all of their holidays because they're my best friends. I know their family, their family knows me, our families know each other, and I just know them. I know them, right? So to watch these two be quote unquote, friends best friends whatever they they acting like you know it's them against the world inside of that house together and you not to know what she did prior to y'all's first christmas together that saddens me and then to learn that her friend's father was in heaven that even started to make this even more sad and this is also the christmas season she ain't got the nigga that she had a whole human being for and now she's sitting up here on live trying to find some sort of comfort family and love mm -hmm. so I guess not we in heaven. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this make it sad. <laughs> Merry, Merry, Merry motherfucking Christmas, nigga. <laughs> Tell me that's not a laugh that we see in movies whenever the drunken uncle or the drunken dad is sitting at the table. He done fucked up the whole dinner because he done kicked the dog, accidentally dropped the baby, uh, overcooked the turkey that he was supposed to be watching on the grill, but his ass done got too drunk. So the wife just took the kids, went over to his mama's house. He's sitting at the kitchen table like, well, it's just me here. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. No. Merry Christmas, huh? No Merry Christmas. Niggas fun. lost people this year. Niggas, I'm sorry for everybody lost. If you lost your mom, your dad, your kid, your brother, your sister. I even the motherfucking heart. It's no really Merry Christmas for you niggas, for real. It's nothing merry about it. You're right. missing a loved that one. Be hitting right in the heart. <laughs> you need to take somebody love. <laughs> Swear to God. She was really crying right here. She was really crying and she wasn't crying in a way of like, uh, oh, everybody who's lost someone, I'm so sorry that deeply grieves me. I'm so sorry you're so sad. Nah, she was crying because she's deeply sad. She's really sad. She's sad that things ain't turning out the way that they're supposed to go. And her rabbit head ass friends, they sitting back there laughing and shit like that. Not even realizing that she's actually hurting. She's actually going through depression. You know, I've been saying several times across any video that I do of hers, watch the company you keep, watch who's around you because... Imagine the feeling you would feel if you sitting up there, you grieving the loss of something and your friends are cackling and laughing because they don't even know you that well to know that you grieving some shit. You know what I'm saying? Meg Thee Stallion was just talking about when she was grieving her parents and she had people around her who were like, fuck it, don't be crying, just drink it. Drink, 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 fuck it. Let's go out, let's go kick it. Like, them people, they're, they're, they're not going to help you out. They ain't going to help you out of your hole. They ain't going to help you out of your pit. And as harsh as this sounds, you can't rely on nobody to help you out of your shit. You can't rely on nobody to help you out your anxiety, your depression, your postpartum depression. You can't rely on nobody. And I know that sounds harsh and I know that sounds unfair, but that's just the way of the motherfucking world. That's just the reality. And unfortunately, Krishan, you're going to have to pull your own self up by your bootstraps because you still got a baby at the end of the day. I only love my life. Look, my on the bright side, my boy. God is good. I don't know what that means, but y'all know what that means. Cause I ain't finna ready, I ain't finna tell you what I'm mad about.
about for real? He's nothing about this. He's so long dead. He gonna die. What? And that's how her live ends or whatever. And then we get to see her uh, really preparing to go and get ready for her performance in Vegas. Y'all know she lost her phone. She paid somebody hella money to get it back. I think she ended up getting it back. I wish that person would have just kept her phone and released everything on there so we could see what the real is, what's really going on behind the scenes between her and Blueface, what them text messages is really looking like. Because right now, I don't give a fuck about what Blueface is saying. I don't give a fuck about what anybody else is saying around her. It's time for her to stand up. It's time for her to get strong. It's time for her to say, you know what? This is the hand that I've been dealt and I got to make the best out of this situation because this is this is all I got. This is me and my kid, we all we all we each other got. You feel me? This social media shit, I got to learn how to milk this shit cuz I ain't got no other skill but this social media shit. So I really got to milk this so that I can, you know, do what I need to do to support my child. That's the position that she has to get in. I'm sorry, but we can't do that whole baby and no adult. We can't baby no grown woman who decided to have this baby to keep this nigga we can't do that okay so she got to get her shit together on her own and ain't gonna be nobody around her to help pull her out of it and that's that's evident that's evident right here so let me know what you think in the comments okay i hope that you have an amazing new year's i hope you have good times and good vibes tonight please stay safe tonight make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you're subscribed to the channel and i will see you in the next video Bye bye